welcome in. Thank you for being here. I am Jojo, filmmaker and founder, surf guide, coach, healer uh, of Yoni Soul Surf Collective. So today I'm gonna walk you through what can be a warm up prior to you doing any of these workouts. So I'm gonna take you through the movement step by step. This is also something that you can do uh, pre-surf. So if you wanted to warm up uh, before your surf session, this is definitely something that you can do. So the movements would be, and I would start with 10 reps total. And so the movement is going to be starting in tabletop position. And you're going to alternate. So extend and alternate your hand and foot. So I'm going to extend my right, my left hand or my left arm. I'm going to extend my right leg and I'm going to hold it and then switch. I'm gonna do 10 total reps of this. You want to make sure that your core is engaged. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. One note with this movement is you definitely do not want to extend and then open up your hips. So you want to maintain your hips with your hip flexors, the hip crease facing down towards the ground. So keep it even facing down towards the ground. Okay, and when I say engage your core, that essentially means my back, most of us walk around with our back arched like this because we're not really paying attention to our posture. So engaging your core is simply creating a, tel a, pelvic, um, a pelvic tilt down with your tailbone towards the ground, squeeze your butt, and then lift your chest. See, so I start out like this. This is no, engage your core. I'm going to create a pelvic tilt down towards the ground. And then it immediately causes my chest to come up. And that is engaging the core. That way your shoulders are open, your chest is open. And honestly, you take that position and you apply it to your paddle or to your, yeah, on your surfboard in your paddle position. Okay, so I am engaging my core. I am looking forward and I'm paddling. Same thing, okay? So that translates over. Next movement is going to be, you're gonna lunge forward. So one leg in front of the next, right? You're gonna lean into it. Again, creating that pelvic tilt. So I'm going to then create that pelvic tilt down towards the floor raise my chest, immediately my left quad feels that activation and so does my left hip flexor. The surfing pop-up position is a hip thrusting movement. So we need to get your hips open, flexible, and mobile. So then you're gonna lean forward, stay there. Take a few breaths, raise your arms, right? You're gonna take your right hand in this case to your left wrist, lean to the right, open up this left side body, look up towards the sky, and hold it there. You can lean more to the right to get a deeper stretch. Release the tension wherever you feel it on your body. Keep breathing. Go ahead and release it. Then you're going to just reverse the movement. Lean forward. Get this nice calf strep, stretch, this hamstring stretch. Maintain your open chest. Looking forward here. Release the tension. Go ahead, switch sides. Same thing, lean forward. Create your pelvic tilt down towards the ground. You can also think of it as your lower back is kissing your belly button, okay? So lean into it. Again, release the tension wherever you may feel it. If you need to let go of your hands in order to do so, that works too. You're gonna raise your arms now. 
Opposite side, left hand to right wrist, lean to the left. Stretch that right side body. Look to your right. Lean even more to the left if you want a deeper stretch. Breathe into it where you feel the tension. And release, go ahead and reverse it. Again, lean forward. Keep your chest raised, open chest. You don't wanna slouch, right? You're here. Go ahead and release it. And then what I like to do is go ahead and go into a forward fold. So find your feet just hip length uh, apart, relax, forward fold with your head relaxed to the ground. Grab hands to elbows, find your stretch, bend your knees if you need a deeper stretch. Just let your head hang and relax. Go ahead and release it, slowly come up, one vertebrae at a time. Okay, Woo. and that is one version of a warm up that you can do, like I said, before a workout or definitely before a surf session. Thank you for joining me. I will see you on the next one. I am grateful for you and take care.